back to the second installment of the BRCC Fiesta Championship. This weekend, for the first time, we're gracing the South Wales countryside at Pembury Circuit. Now, race one is about to get underway, and Sam Watkins, after a disastrous weekend at Silverstone, has managed to claw his way back and put it on pole position. So we're going to hand it straight over to Richard to run you through all of the action. Thanks very much, Lindsay. So Watkins on pole. David Nye lines up alongside with James Waite and Isaac Smith on row two. Alistair Callett and Jamie going next. Ryan Falkenbridge, Jake Dawson. John Cooper and Zachary Lucas wrapping up the top ten. Simon Horobin is back. Tom Hutchins with him on row six. Then it's Joel Wright and Tim Bennett, Marco Ricci and Sam Walton completing our entry here. First time, I think... Uh, here at Pembrey for the Fiesta Championship. Great little circuit. I'm sure they're going to enjoy it. The weather's good. And the lights are out now. And we are racing here in South Wales. And Sam Watkins looking on home tarmac to take the win. It's David Nye to his outside, who's trying to slot into second position as they come down into hatchets for the first time. But James Waite in red is busy challenging him. Jamie going in the 46 car around to the outside. It's... Uh, very uh, tight first corner from the fastest part of the track into the slowest corner and then through the twists and turns of uh, De Beni out through the club corner they will go championship jointly led by Isaac Smith and Ryan Falkenbridge on 92 points apiece Smith qualifying in fourth position Ryan Falkenbridge in seventh but the Race leaders are clear. It's uh, Alistair Kellett now up into third place. There in 21 is Isaac Smith, who took the win in race two at Silverstone, on board with Tom Hutchins. Good on board shot here, the outer reaches of the Pembrey circuit. Lovely place when it's sunny. It's a great place when it's wet, to be fair. The racing's good, and parts of it below sea level, which means that when we've got high tide and a lot of rain, it can get a little bit tricky for the organizers to sort things out. As we look at Joel Wrighton in the yellow 66, Joel qualifying in 13th on the grid, but it's Sam Watkins who is the race leader at the moment with James Waite in the 17 car in second position. Alistair Kellett getting defensive from Isaac Smith. Good to see the ZTEC S running well. David Nye in number 12, then 46 is Jamie Going getting stuck in as well. Zachary Lucas was third in the championship coming into this weekend. 50 points for each race win. 46 for second place, additional points for pole position and fastest lap and uh, plenty of great racing expected this weekend as we look at move here, David Nye tries to go around the outside line of Isaac Smith, but Smith has got the inside as they come back towards us here down towards the old hairpin Nye being made to work hard in the number 12 car and Isaac Smith joint championship leader could take the championship lead or consolidate the championship lead with this one Forceful move for him, still in fourth position. Alistair Kellett immediately ahead of him. So Smith will now try and knuckle down. There's Jamie going, looking at David Nye. In towards the closing stages now. So through goes the race leader, Sam Watkins. James Waite second in the red 17. And now up into third place has gone Isaac Smith with Alistair Kellett coming under pressure from David Nye. Oh, and Nye gets a little nudge there from Jamie Going. Can't see what's happening to Knight outside of going outside of shot. And had a little tag there from Jake Dawson, who goes straight into retirement. I think that was partially because they were all hard on the brakes going down into the hairpin. So we won't apportion blame uh, to anyone there. We'll let the clerk sort that out. But we're looking at Isaac Smith in third place being chased by Alistair Kellett. Kellett was being challenged by David Nye, both class D champions, Kellett in 2016, 9 2015, when we had the four classes, but now the BRSCC, the organisers have, have worked out the power of the various cars to just consolidate into one class. There is a historic class as well, which we are classic class as well, which we're not seeing today, uh, which is available for drivers of the older class A and B cars if they require to come out and race. But onto the last lap, this is looking very good indeed for Sam Watkins is closing up on Marco Ricci and he's going to have a look down the inside after a disappointing, frustrating Silverstone for the Welshman. He's going to get his points scoring on track and it's going to be very good news for him because, of course, there are drop scores. So he can disregard 
the Silverstone round as long as he finishes all the other races they're at Camwell Park next time out that's on the 12th of May he pops down on the inside that was real good respectful racing from Marco Ricci so Sam Watkins looking pretty good for the win here at the moment he's got the fastest lap as well that was set back on lap four of the race and he's clear by some three and a half seconds over James Waite who by my reckoning will go into second position in the championship 126 points after this one but Sam Watkins will get him start to get himself properly on the board and uh, of course we'll be looking for a double this is a treble header this weekend as well Triple header at Cadwell Park next time out as well. The chequered flag is being readied for the red machine of Sam Watkins, who takes the win. You can see Marco Ricci following him across the line, and it's going to be second position to James Waite. Third position goes to Isaac Smith in the 21 car. Alistair Kellett is in fourth, just ahead of David Nye. You saw him black and green there, who completes the top five. Sixth position to Tom Hutchins. Jamie going next for Brian Falkenbridge and Joel Wrighton. Simon Horobin rounds out the top ten. Then it was Tim Bennett, Marco Ricci and Sam Walton. Fastest lap, Sam Watkins. Well, a huge congratulations. You started pole, finished pole. Got to be happy. Yeah, really happy. It was really fun. It's very hot, but it was still enjoyable. How was the track out there for you, given the heat? Well, it started off really nice, and just as you get on and on and on and on, it just sort of gets harder and harder. It just made it worse and worse. Yeah, it's good though. James, you've managed to jump up a place. You started third, but you've come second. Yeah, no, it was an amazing race. Qualifying was pretty good. I started third, so I'm happy with that. But, you know, Sam had so much pace, it was hard to catch him, but there's nothing I could do towards the end. Isaac, so you did phenomenal, considering you didn't even come for Friday practice. Yeah, well, we qualified P4, only about 100 off of James. Really, really close all weekend and came through. We had a bit of a battle with David and Kelly. Uh, it was a good race. Race two is about to get underway here at Pembry, and as you can see, the sun is still shining, but that does mean the heat is still rising. So Sam Watkins has put it back on pole position for this race, and he needs to claw back as many points as possible after a disastrous weekend at Silverstone. But that does also mean with the heat, he needs to be a little bit more careful on fuel, a little bit more careful on tyres, it's going to be an interesting one. So, Richard, we're going to hand it straight over to you. Thanks again. Sam Watkins, of course, starting on the front by virtue of the win in race number one from James Waite. Isaac Smith and Alistair Kellett next up from David Nye and Tom Hutchins. Jamie Going and Ryan Falkenbridge next from Joel Wrighton and Simon Horobin. Tim Bennett and Marco Ricci next. Row seven, Sam Walton and Jake Dawson. Then Zach Lucas and John Cooper completing the grid for race two. As you heard from Lindsay, great conditions here. So it's an all red front row, get the five second board as we watch initially from Hatchet's hairpin, now on the pit wall, they're all underway. Watkins looking to bag a double and break the 100 points barrier, which is going to be important for him. He gets a good start. Into second place goes James Waite. Then it's Isaac Smith in third, but being challenged by Alistair Kellett round the outside line. Kellett not afraid to challenge. Horobin in orange is in the mix as well. Zachary Lucas on the inside line looking to make some progress through as well. Was third in the championship, Zach Lucas, but that DNF in race number one, meaning two things. One, that he's dropped points. Secondly, he has to start from the back, but he's got two bites of the cherry left, this one and race number three, in order to claw some points back. Joel Wright and busy chasing 46, Jamie Going, the Jam Sport team boss, and uh, his team boss, of course. And then the 54 car we saw getting into problems late in race number one. That's Jake Dawson trying to work his way up from 14th on the grid and score a few points. By my mass, it's Smith that leads the championship now on 134. James Waite on 126. We're on Falkenbridge on 122. Then Alistair Kellett on 106. As we look at the 54 car putting a challenge in on Joel Wrighton on the far side of the track now, but the race leaders kick ticking off another lap as Ryan Falkenbridge goes all over the grass loses a shed load of places uh, sadly but comes back on track in the number 13 car the Mansfield man a brace of second positions at Silverstone in the opening round of the year but he's I think maybe the unfamiliarity of this track 
perhaps adding to things for him. It was a crowded field coming out of the final corner, the Honda curve, but still out front, Sam Watkins looking good value here, up ahead of James Waite with Isaac Smith looking very consistent after that podium in race number one. Alistair Kellett up ahead of Simon Horobin, who's going to try and pop the ST down the inside line of the ZTEC S. Then we've got David Nye in the green and black car who's going to see the gap as well. Nye, of course, veteran driver, multi-champion in Fiestas, raced in Set Cup and British Touring Car Championship, as we've mentioned before. Tom Hutchins in the red 29, just behind them as well, was joint fifth in the standings coming to Pembrey. I'm sure, based on the success of race number one, the drivers will be happy to come back again as Nye has a little bit of a Mr Whippy coming out of Honda Corner, but it's still Sam Watkins, the leader from James Waite and Isaac Smith, as indeed they were off the line. But look at this, three cars, four cars involved in the battle for fourth position with Simon Horobin holding on to it at the moment. Horobin's made some good progress through the field in the early stages of this race, the specialised motorsport team boss. Horobin has prepared some very quick cars in this championship over the years. Including Sam Priest, who was champion back in 2016 in the STs. So as we approach the halfway distance in this race, Watkins out front, we're watching David Knight a little bit of track on his own with Tom Hutchins in behind and more for you after the break. Welcome back to Pembroke. Coming, coming towards us is Joel Wrighton. He's running in 14th place and being hounded at the moment by the pair battling over second place. Isaac Smith ahead of James Waite. First and second in the championship by my maths after... Round three, our first race here in South Wales. So Wrighton does uh, some good driving, allows them through. And in the distance, we've got the red number seven of Welshman Sam Watkins, who's heading for a double this weekend, getting his point scoring underway. I think he might have picked up a solitary point for pole position at Silverstone, if memory serves correctly, as yes, he was on pole there, to add to the point that he got for pole position today. So with the double win, he'll be up to 100, 100 or so points. But Isaac Smith there in shot has, by my maths, I have to stress, 134 points at the moment, with James Waite on 126, Ryan Falkenbridge on 122, Alistair Kellett 106, Tom Hutchins 102. But the likes of David Nye, Simon Horobin and company will all be closing down on them very, very shortly indeed. So this is the battle for second, and there is the championship leader. P2 here after P3 in race number one would not be a bad result for him. Goes through Honda corner and onto the last lap. There is the leader... So Sam Watkins, I'm guessing having some local knowledge of Pembrey from days of old. He's still a youngster, making him sound like he's a veteran racer, but he's still a young racer driver. As you saw from the podium interview, the man from Swansea had that retirement at Silverstone in round one, didn't come out to play in round two. So that's effectively his drop scores. But Sam driving superbly here once again in... Well, it's race eight of our meeting here and round four of the championship. Isaac Smith has the fastest lap, though, in this one, so we'll bag the additional points for that. Isaac on for 48 points in this race. That was on lap four. We're not seeing the times improving at the moment. Watkins on his last lap going through the old hairpin, heading down speedway straight towards Honda Corner, which is the last turn you can see the chasers coming through as well around about four or five seconds behind at the moment second and third but Sam Watkins here we come into Honda corner nice and clear he can buzz the pit wall if he wants to and he will take the checkered flag so it's two out of two here at Pembrey for Sam Watkins Isaac Smith is still in second the white and blue car number 21 will maintain the championship lead ahead of James Waite who finishes in third. Watch for the orange car of Simon Horobin in fourth. Horobin indeed did finish fourth from Jamie Going. Tom Hutchins next from Alistair Kellett and Jake Dawson. Ryan Falkenbridge ninth from Zach Lucas, John Cooper and David Nye. Tim Bennett 13th, head of Joel Wrighton. Then Sam Walton and Marco Ricci. Fastest lap to Isaac Smith. 
that looked like a really tough drive out there, especially for the first 10 laps. Yeah, it was uh, a lot closer. It's a bit of different temperatures and that, but yeah, it, uh, sort of as, as, as those two fought together, I was able to just pull away towards the end. So is your brother's car still holding strong? Yeah, yeah, it's good. It was amazing. He let me use it and it's still going well. Well, you've stepped it up from yesterday. You're now in second position. You've got to be happy. Yeah, extremely happy. Uh, race car consultant set up the car perfectly. It's just bang on. Next time we can hopefully go for Sam and we'll see what happens. So what's your opinion on the reverse grid this afternoon? Well, it should be okay. I'm quite good at getting through the pack, so should hopefully get back to the front again. Maybe step on the podium again. There was some fierce battling involved in there. Yeah, no, I got a pretty good start. I got on the inside on the first corner, which is pretty good. I managed to pull away from Isaac and I was catching Sam for a little bit, but you know, Sam had the ultimate pace at the end of the day. I had a bit of trouble with the back markers. Isaac managed to catch up a bit, but at the end of the day, I didn't have the pace to get second. Third and final race is about to get underway here for the BRCC Fiesta Championship at Pembury Circuit and the weather is still extremely hot. Now Sam Watkins has managed to make it two out of two on the top step but there is a bit of a challenge coming into this last race with the reverse grid. It's actually starting in sixth position so I'm going to ask Sam, how are you feeling about that? Yeah, I'm looking forward to a race but um, it's going to make it a lot harder to get anywhere near the top now, being down in sixth. Great, well we wish you the best of luck with that Sam and we're going to hand it straight over to Richard to run you through all of the action. Tom Hutchins on pole, Jamie going alongside Simon Horovin and James Wade on row two, followed by Isaac Smith and Sam Watkins. Then it's Alistair Kellett row four with Jake Dawson, Ryan Falkenbridge and Zach Lucas row five, John Cooper and David Nye next up from Tim Bennett and Joel Wrighton, Sam Walton and Marco Ricci completing the grid. What wonder if we're going to see a different winner. Well, we will because Sam Watkins not on the grid, which is a shame. So we're not going to see a hat trick, but we will see... A different winner. The lights are on for the final time here at Pembrey. It's been a glorious weekend. You can see the heat haze and a good start from pole position by Tom Hutchins in red. They've all made it away well indeed. Jamie Going looks to the outside line in the white 46 car. Simon Horobin in orange trying to squeeze through and consolidate third place. Isaac Smith already is there in fifth. Alistair Kellett in the mix as well as they go out of... Spitfires now through into Debeni. Isaac Smith with the rear facing camera up ahead of Simon Horobin. So Smith has made progress again. The championship leader, you see Ryan Falkenbridge up with these guys as well. Past Jamie going, goes Isaac Smith into third place now. So, oh, and he gets turned round but collects it up well. Very nearly lost it. Jamie going gets up into third position and Isaac Smith recovers from it and he's still in fourth place up ahead of Ryan Falkenbridge and who knows that could be a key moment in the championship later in the year that recovery Zach Lucas in the 23 car behind this group he's diving down on the inside line of Jake Dawson David Nye in the mix as well and it's really the positions that weren't reversed in the grid that were getting involved, involved in a bit of a bun fight there Simon Horobin being passed by Jake Dawson. Horobin much further down than we're used to seeing, but will no doubt fight back as the race leaders go across the line. Ticking off the first of what should be 16 laps here, 20 minutes race time. James Wake second at the moment, Isaac Smith in third. Those two still fighting over the championship. And Tom Hutchins, the pole position man, in 29, holding up pretty well at the moment. So let's see what the 17 car can do. The red arrows at the front at the moment. Isaac Smith has a look on the inside line now and gets up through on the inside line of James Waite. Crucial for the championship, crucial for the race as well. And he's going to have to try and deal with Tom Hutchins out front now. But you can see the 17 car, James Waite's having a good old nibble to try and get the position back cracking battle on here between the top two let's just watch Isaac Smith graduate of the Fiesta Junior Championship looks at the inside line as he got the momentum to go through as they come through a long speedway straight in towards Honda there's half a gap there and he points the car down the inside line grabs the apex grabs the lead at the same time Isaac Smith Third in the first race, second in race two. Is he going to complete the sequence and grab a win here? Hutchins is down to second. James Waite all over the back of him at the moment. Then Jamie going and Ryan Falkenbridge. 
Going has got his nose into third place, but he's being made to work hard around the outside of Hatchets. They're all making it through. As I said, it is a tricky old corner, that one, because you're going flat from the fastest to the slowest point on track. Isaac Smith, 11 seconds clear onto the last lap. Jamie Going is in second place. Then we've got, it looked like Ryan Falkenbridge, but we've got Zach Lucas in third position, who was eclipsed for a moment. We couldn't see him, but he's there as well. Simon Horobin coming under pressure. Now from the 17 car of James Waite, he's going to lose a little bit of ground in the championship here to Isaac Smith. Also involved in the mix there, Jake Dawson, as James Waite tries to stay ahead here of Simon Horobin, who's, who's desperately now looking at the outside line for the next corner. A little bit of rubbing between those two cars. Some frantic racing going on. It's close up front. Apart from Isaac Smith, he's got the fastest lap again on lap four. And he's away with this one as we watch Waite, Horobin and Dawson all dicing over fifth position. And you'll see the cars in the group ahead, headed by Jamie Going from Zach Lucas and Ryan Falkenbridge. But here is Isaac Smith, who will complete a hat-trick of Podia and complete the set. If he was playing Podium Bingo, he's had a third, he's had a second. And now with the chequered flag at the red, he has a win as well. So it is Isaac Smith, the championship leader, who takes the win. We have a little bit of a wait before we see Jamie Going, who will take second place. Jamie Going notching up his best finish of the year. Zach Lucas in third. Ryan Falkenbridge takes fourth position. Those three very close indeed. James Waite did get the better of Simon Horobin to secure fifth. So Waite fifth, Horobin sixth, Jake Dawson in seventh from David Nye and Alistair Kellett. Tim Bennett... Marco Ricci and Sam Walton complete the finishers. Non-finishes, John Cooper and Tom Hutchins. Fastest lap to Isaac Smith once again. You've had a blinder of a weekend. Yeah, it's been great. 3-2-1. Uh, race car consultant set the car up perfectly all weekend. And we came here really, really on the back foot. They'd had six sessions on um, Friday came in first session was out was I think it was fifth and then qualifying qualified fourth and it's been going up since Jamie you had to keep everyone true in that there yeah with the reverse grid it obviously put me in in p2 so I knew from the start I needed to try my best to get past Tom didn't quite go to plan but we got through in the end Isaac just come from nowhere and drove an amazing race at the start but unfortunately, he managed to get through the pack and that sort of left me held up a little bit to get through with him and he maintained a big enough gap to be able to sustain that. So, yeah, it was good. It was a good tussle. There was a bit of contact, a bit of rubbing. Everybody was happy. Everybody enjoyed it. But, yeah, no, it was amazing. But, yeah, it was really good. I struggled a little bit last round with my car, but we've done some changes and it feels really good and I'm a lot more comfortable with it now. So yeah, no, it's good. Looking forward to the next one. That was a brilliant race for you. Talk us through it. Yeah, it was absolutely brilliant. I started in 10th, managed to work my way up the grid slowly, bit by bit, and got there in the end, got the podium, which was the main thing. It's happy to end the weekend on a high. So yeah, no, it's brilliant. 